<laughs> it's, uh, it's the, the Irish, mad Irishman, where is he? He's captain of the third this season, you need to speak to him. Give it, he's a gingerhead old boy who, who supports a pose. to uh, Holton playing fields for this uh, official opening of the uh, Whitley Rugby Club new playing 
area. We're very pleased to have with us this afternoon the president of the uh, Welsh Rugby Football Union, Mr Ian Evans. Welcome, sir, to you. I'd like to introduce you now to the members of the team. First of all, our referee for this afternoon, who's Mr A. Knowles from Oxfordshire, and the linesman who are sir, you? Malcolm Phipps. Um, and Guy Wins and Lewis. Okay? <laughs> so I have trouble with reading. So starting off with the uh, President's 15, we have first of all number one, Mr. Rodney Rhymes from Northampton. Number two, yes you can clap if you like, that's number two, this is Jay Evans from Neat. A. S. Cook, number three, University of Western Australia, two occasional. Number four, N. G. B. Edwards, Harlequins and the Barbarians. He's a big boy, isn't he, eh? <laughs> Number five, Stuart Hamilton from Oxford. Number six, Mike Egan, London Irish and Oxford University. He's left his JCB up there by the club, eh? <laughs> I would say this because I'm not playing. Number seven, Neil Hay. Number eight, D. Robbins. Nine, the scrum off, Hugh Harris from Cardiff and Wales under 19. Number 10, A. Williams from Bridge Edmund and the Welsh B. Number 11, R. Bessie, Oxford University and Q. Occasional. Number 12, M. Lapone from Barnes. Number 13, S. Windsor Lewis from Barnes. Number 14, James Lewis from uh, Landori and uh, number four, four fifty. Now this fella here, you probably know him, do you? You know this fella? This is Dusty, William Henry Hare, who's Bill Bowman always called him. I can't <laughs> Hey, what a fabulous bunch of people. First of all, Lance Stoneford, the captain this afternoon, the fullback. Patty Woodington, number 14, right wing. Dickie Coombs, centre. Jock Cairns in the centre as well. Death warmed up Mark Hobb, who looks really well these days as he's run out of money. <laughs> Ian Duncar, Simon Smith Ashmore at the scrum half. And then we have uh, John Wilkins on the flank. Risto Grunbach, whose father Gerald gave us a bit of finish for him earlier on. My brother Joe Choppo Hot Prop on the flank. Mr. Peter Ramphop of Ramsdale, Peter Drinker extraordinaire. Gadget Davis. He's a big old wood, but he's not as big as these fellas over here, is he? He's got a big, a big old beard. Owen Murray, he's done a lot for today. A big round of applause for Owen Murray, also for his wife for And then the two Graham brothers, like two little terriers, he calls Spike Hennessy. This is Nava, Nava Graham, the hooker, and Robert Gray. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Special thanks to our Evans. Enjoy yourself. We'll see you later on for uh, a nice evening.
Thank <laughs> you.
Another passenger is being treated in hospital. The inquest was adjourned until February. A roundabout is to be built to slow down traffic.
ask him a few questions. Uh, yeah, Lordy, how did the game go? Thank you, yes, it was very good. Well, to tell you the truth, Bristol, I thought it was a first class example of how to play the game of rugby. Unfortunately, that was then, and you lot were playing around like a lot, a lot of people. Playing. I thought uh, before the start of the game, your speech was uh, magnificent. How did you feel about it? Getting the names absolutely wrong. I did too, actually. It's uh, anything else that you like to have at this stage? I mean, I'd just like to ask if uh, your young lady, Joe, there, has seen a grown man lately. <laughs> <laughs> So many people have cut in. I'm going to name some names and there'll be some that I forget. And once I forget, I'm not saying no to any afterwards. I don't think this one case would be here without the efforts of Richie Cozier. And I want to come up here. His organisation of the bar facilities. I'd like to thank very much Owen and Elaine Murray, who have done a magnificent job. People coming to me, they say, well, Pedro's done the catering. I've done so all. We know it's not the fish. Owen and Elaine, please. I'd like also to thank my little baby sister who's been out there slaving over the pig. She's done very well for us. Um, who else should I thank? Everybody else that has done millions of things in this country. The bar staff, they've done very well. Gilly for his programme, all the advertisers, everybody that has really done everything to make this day popular. Uh, possibly. My, book, my function really is to introduce our president, Mr. Jeff Lewis. Thank you, Pedro. I just have three things to say. First of all, no club, whether it's rugby or any sport at all, can exist without people like Pedro, like the crazy of this world. And this club particularly, with what we've done since we opened it many moons ago, we, we had a clubhouse across the road in 1978. It doesn't seem all those years ago, in fact. But, but today is the culmination of many things within this club. And at the heart of the club, you have the right people. And that is the strength of this club. And I hope within the community of Weekly, it will help and it will reflect the success of what's happening up here within the village. My second duty is to thank all my team for coming from many miles away. We, we had Dusty here. It's a great privilege to see him on the field. And you can see why England um, have enjoyed so much success with him in the years uh, which have passed. Um, well, thank you all, my team, for coming very much. Finally, um, it is probably the greatest honour we've had as a club to have the President of the World Rugby Union to perform the formal ceremony. Um, the smart money on the World Cup is that Wales will win their group and go on to beat.
everybody else. <laughs> So, there's a tip given today, and that is um, important. <laughs> but, Jan, thank you very much indeed. Uh, for my money, I would rather have a Welsh president in this room than anybody else. <laughs> and it's, it's a wonderful privilege for this club that on a Sunday you are prepared to come and see us. And we are very happy. Yeah. I would like you to accept this print of Oxford from the hearts of all the players and the committee within the Weekly Club. And I hope this will remind you of a very happy day for you and for the club. And I know I ask you formally to unveil the plan. Jochen Ogalon, thank you from the bottom of my heart, and we are a bunch of the uh, chairman of my village club, Amman United. When you had to make a little speech, you said, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and my wife's bottom as well, I don't know what you mean. That, that was a strong speech, and on one occasion, on one occasion, we had a club dinner, and the speaker, I forget, he was an Englishman, actually. <laughs> he went on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> and Bertie was a big drinker, with half cut. <laughs> and he's sitting in his chair, God, you know when you go black, when is this one going to finish? And suddenly, one of the players, instead of throwing a roll, threw an empty half pint bottle, and caught Bertie in the head. Down here. And then suddenly, pull their toys out, which is one of the other ages. So we can get it, because here's the other side. Anyway, I'm very pleased to have you for me to, to arrive here at uh, midday, and I found out, much to my chagrin, that. Uh, that's a good word, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that, that this ceremony wasn't on until 5.30, and I might have done 4 o'clock takeoff. <laughs> Because I've got about 160 miles to go. Just now. However, I would, I'd better stop there, but it's, it's going to be a great pleasure to meet uh, a few Welshmen. Yeah. One Welsh speaker, Glenn. Where's Glenn Evans? Where's he? Yeah. From Cumtur. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's ever or no <laughs> That's the same village as Clyde Rowan's again. His name keeps dropping up, though he's finished now entirely on the West Review. But it was a great pleasure to meet uh, Dennis Thomas as well, and uh, I could just consult the auditor now. <laughs> Jeffrey, of course, has got roots in my state, very strong roots in my state. His father was brought up there. And uh, it's a great country. My mother was born in Blind Windy, another village not far away. And um, Callum Crawford from the Gen, is Callum here? Yeah. 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 And uh, uh, Ron Martin, who's from Porth, who is now the county match secretary. So there we are. We the connections and all that are not all that tenuous, and it is a pleasure to speak to these gentlemen, plus a few others, when I arrived today. And the time is flown, actually, and I have no regrets having, having to wait until after five. And I should have... <laughs> no, no, I'm serious now. I should have started off by saying it was a delight to see that match and to see the players enjoying it so much, both sides. It did not look one-sided at all. It was an enjoyable experience. <laughs> Why do people laugh when I try to be serious? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm dead serious then because, as we all know, there's a lot of lip service played with us to this particular bit, but it is definitely a player's game. And long may continue to be. Yeah. Yeah. So now it gives me great pleasure. Dr. Blesser, now we can take me a cordial hint, as I told you, he said. And declare this extension, I think. Is it extension? Uh, to extension? <laughs> <laughs> The last time I just went half and went two weeks ago and the knob came off. <laughs> so I was a bit lower and the market had got a Oh, one more thing. One more thing. <laughs> when 
Jeff, Jeffrey apparently asked me in Edinburgh two weeks ago whether I could perform this particular task. And of course I didn't know that I was, uh, that I was supposed to be in London yesterday. And I forgot over it. I, I had a fair bit fun. <laughs> then Keith Hart was here last week and he said, Why can I pick you up? Because he brings some player songs and, and he was there. And I said, Of where? And he said, I promised Jeff, Jeff, you don't know, send some clever. And before you say anything that you can't come, he said, Your name is on the bloody plaque. <laughs>